What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Gold Guy channel. Today, I'm finally kind of starting the Subaru build. And behind me here, I have all the parts I'm going to need to turbocharge this car. Since I'm on a budget, I can't just buy everything at once, so I've been kind of collecting it. All this stuff here, I'm going to open it up, unbox it, give it an overview, and I'm going to be putting the links to where I bought it all in the description. I will be honest, I bought all this stuff on eBay. Except for the headers, the headers were a Christmas present, so I guess I wouldn't really count those in the price because I didn't pay for them. Except for the headers, I got all this stuff for $430, and that's a turbo. Well, why don't we just open it up and I'll show you. Piece of cardboard. Another piece of cardboard. Oh man, I hope they didn't just send me a ton of cardboard. Some rocks on the bottom, that would... Be the biggest eBay scam of 2018. So it looks like we got some really thin gaskets here. All right, let's dig into this turbo. Ah, it's heavy for sure. Definitely looked bigger on the eBay listing, but size doesn't always matter, guys. Okay. Looks very nice and new. I went for the TDO5 turbocharger. Pull these caps off. There's the other side of the turbine. This is an eBay turbocharger, so we're gonna see just what this thing's capable of. Uh, I saw in the listing it's capable to about 20 PSI of boost. They come stock set at 12 boost. I'm gonna just run it at first at right around six and in the beginning stages and then We'll be going up and up and getting up to the 20s. To adjust the amount of boost, you just need to adjust the wastegate rod here, move the nut back, move the bolt in, and that's pretty much it there. All right, let's see. Packed by Jerry. Thank you, Jerry. I think that's all they put in there. Yeah, that's it. So there's the turbo, guys. Let's get on to the next thing. Next up, we've got this envelope. Okay, and this is the oil feed return and drain lines for the turbo. Oh wow, this one actually came with some gaskets too. So I've got plenty of gaskets. I think I've got three sets of gaskets for the turbo. Look at all these gaskets I got. I don't even think I'm gonna need all these. I'm just gonna use the best quality ones. Call it a day. So nothing too exciting here. Just some copper gaskets. Some bolts with holes in them and just a couple of these lines. So that's it for that. Just gonna put all these gaskets and stuff back in this envelope so I don't lose anything. And then we've got the air filter I'm gonna be using. I bought this a while back for my old Chevy Colorado. I still have it. I took it off before I sold the truck because I wanted to keep it. So this is the one I'm gonna be using on my Subaru, probably, I'm not sure, but uh, yeah. So this isn't in a box, technically not unboxing, but you get the idea. Good old China e-packet bag from eBay. Open that up. Some styrofoam in here. Yep, we got some vacuum lines. And we've got a boost gauge, guys. It doesn't look too bad. Uh, it is in PSI, it's not in bars. But this was, I think, 13 bucks on eBay. Came all the way from China. It took about two weeks to ship, but I got it now. So that's that, it's a boost gauge. Get all the stuff that's not in boxes out of the way. So we've got the UEL headers here. Damn, guys. That plastic was a bear. Anyway, here are the unequal length headers I'm gonna be putting on my car. And they have the turbo up pipe so I'm not even going to need to fabricate anything because the up pipe's already there, turbo goes on, and this is going to fit right on the bottom of my engine. Hopefully, I'm not completely positive this is all going to fit. This is actually the only thing that didn't come on eBay. 
Uh, this is from DNA Motoring. And I went with the unequal length headers just because they sound friggin awesome. They're gonna give my car that Subi rumble that everyone knows and loves. <laughs> These are gonna sound cool, you'll see. And then let's open up this big box. I think I know what this is, but I'm gonna leave it a surprise for you guys. Oh yeah, that's exactly what I thought. So, if you can't tell already, this is the intercooler. Looks a lot smaller in real life than it did on the picture, and that's actually good. I'm glad because it looked pretty big in the pictures. Didn't know if I was going to be able to fit it or not. I still don't, but we're going to be able to make this fit. And this is from JDM Sport on eBay. It actually feels like pretty good quality. There were a lot of different intercooler kits on eBay, and there were some that looked kind of questionable. This one looked the best and most American or Japanese I should say but just not not Chinese that's what I, that's not what I wanted right out of the box it has a few dings on it honestly I don't really care too much about that it looks like it's in good shape I think this is gonna work great I'm gonna have a lot of boxes in the trash and it comes with a variety of of different bent pipes some straight some 90 degree some 45 degree, tons of different pipe angles. And it comes with the nice silicone elbows. This all actually feels really nice, guys. I think this, I think all this stuff's gonna work great on my car. I don't need to open up all these pipes right now. I'll do that in the intercooler video. And then it comes with all the clamps that you need to. So pretty much a full intercooler kit. I got the whole intercooler kit for, I think, uh, 173 Okay, and then we're left with this big long box. Okay. Damn, that's a wide pipe. That is a wide pipe. Holy shit. Because this is a wide-ass exhaust pipe. It will be helping me with... Uh, keeping my exhaust not restricted and they even added in a whole nother gasket so I've got just a ton of gaskets guys and that's everything that was the last thing to unbox this is the downpipe as you can see guys the Subaru has a headlight bulb out the passenger side low beam headlight bulb just burned out I just figured well the other one's probably gonna burn out soon too they probably haven't ever been changed. They're probably a stock bulb. So I just figured why not just swap them both out for LED bulbs. I didn't want to make a whole video just swapping headlight bulbs. I feel like that's kind of too short of a topic to make a whole video on. So I figured I'd just throw it into this one. So let's get these bulbs changed. So I'm going to be swapping out my headlights with these Inficiary LED headlights. Bought these on Amazon for about 20 bucks. They're pretty cheap, so we're going to see how these things work in the long term. Link to these in the description. This is what they look like. LED bulb. There's a fan on the back. You just put them in, put the retainer spring behind them, and then plug it in like that. So I'm going to put just the one that's burnt out in first. And then we'll be able to see the difference between the two. Got to take off this uh, air scoop. Won't be needing that in a few weeks. Then we have to remove the power steering fluid reservoir. And tuck it away the best we can. And then we can get to the low beam bulb. The low beam bulb is the one on the left side covered up by this little cap here. Just got to move the retainer spring and then... Just pull that bulb right out. Oh yeah, you can kind of see right at the top there. It's definitely burnt out. So we're going to swap this tiny little bulb for this big ass bulb. Hopefully it fits. I was a little bit confused at first on how this was going to fit. 
because you can't really slide the retainer clip over this big fan housing. And then I figured out that that piece comes off. So you pop that in, pop the retainer clip over that, and then just push that in and twist it. So as you can see, I got the LED bulb in that side and the incandescent bulb is still in that side. You can just see how much brighter this LED bulb is. It's really going to make a difference at nighttime. I just hope it don't blind other people driving on the road. On the driver's side, you literally have to take the whole battery out just to change a headlight bulb. Thanks, Subaru. That's some sh right there.